welcome to Level Up with CMJ. Hey, my name is Joe, and this is my Craps Master Dice Shooting Journey. Let's make it yours, too. Today is episode number 327 of the Level Up program and day number 37 of the Black Belt. If you're new to the program, this is about my daily practice of shooting the dice at the craps table, as well as playing a blue-collar craps style of play. If you were watching yesterday, <laughs> our... our uh, Live stream got interrupted somehow, uh, just like cut out uh, probably about 20 minutes in. Uh, I believe it was a computer glitch. I was talking, I shot the dice, I rolled a six, and I look up and my cameras are not going. Uh, the YouTube says not streaming. So I apologize for all of that. Uh, but on the YouTube side of things, we have Randy Hill checking in. Number one, we got Roger from OMC Craps. We got Kevin at Crooked River Craps, Joel from JR, uh, JR22, Uncle Hoku. So good morning to everybody on the kick.com side of things. We have one person checking in, did not say hi yet. So good morning to everyone. We are going to continue the roles from where we left off yesterday on Crapsy. So if you are playing on Crapsy, make sure you get your bets in and that. And we're just going to continue on where the live stream had cut out. So at that part, we have a point of uh, four, but our um, we had rolled two sixes. So in other words, we had a point established and then we had two sixes rolled. So at this point, I am out of the roll. And I'm gonna go to a 60 on the inside bet level. I'm sorry, six in the outside bet level. So make sure you get your bets in. We still have that $15 uh, pass line contract bet in place. We have $15 on a five and nine, and ten dollars uh, or $15 on the ten. Um, we are on shooter number three, so we're gonna combine, like I said, yesterday and today together. So hopefully we can get through the whole stream here today and finish it out without any interruptions. I'm still gonna have the same goal to get my bankroll up to $2,300. I'm currently at, if I took everything off the table, 2036. So that's gonna be roughly about $164 approximately to get back up there and that, so. Anyhow, let's get her started here, guys. Three, two, three, six. I have only done one throw as a warm up today, so be careful with your betting right away in the beginning. And we'll go dice out. Let me click dice out on Crapsy. We've got nine people on Crapsy, by the way. We've got eight people watching on YouTube. And here we go. And we got a 2 2 hard for the square pair. I'm not sorry, uh, Ian Double Deuce again. Uh, that's 2 2. Brian, let's go on a cruise from Holy Roller. So we hit that point. <laughs> what a way to start the day off here. And we'll be coming out looking for a new point. Um, wow, it's okay. The uh, it says that I have a plus two thousand four hundred and sixty five dollar profit on the shooter, uh, so something screwed up on Crapsy a little bit, but hopefully everything's working well on every on your end. Uh, that was a single pitch away in that left die. That was an explosion on the right die. So that is the safe result. Good morning, Navaldo, checking in on YouTube, and let's um, go again. Fifteen dollar pass line bet, and I will call that all bet set. Dice out. Looking for a point, new point. We're still on shooter number three. And dice out. And we got a 5-5 five, five hard 10, the Old Bay Bushel. So new point will be 10, sister number of where we were at the last time here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that $15 off the 10, we'll put that over on the four. And again, we are looking for um, outside numbers here. We're gonna try to get those up to that five unit bet level before we pick up that six and eight, unless we start hitting more sixes and eights as we go. Uh, that was a single pitch towards us on that left die. That was a implosion on the right die. So single pitch towards us with an implosion is a safe result. So stick it with the 3236. We will go all bets set here. 
they sell it. So, so far we've not had a three or four on top today, which is what we're looking for. They sell it. A little bit right on that one, we have a 6, 4, 10. So we did a Buckeye Buckshot on that point and we hit the point right away. So that is two points in a row that we hit. And that is a little bit of consistency, even though it was a different um, dice combination, if you will. So again, we're gonna be looking at a uh, $15 pass line bet here. That was an explosion on that right die, by the way. And that was a double pitch on the right die. So explosion on the left, double pitch on the right. Which is still a safe result, but again, I don't like that when that die does double pitch on there. So, so sticking again, $15 pass line bet. Um, we're gonna go, we need another, $134 to get to um, goal. No, we need another $234 to get to goal. But let's go all bet set here and they sell it. A little bit long on the landing zone. We have a 437 and that is a pass line winner, a natural. So that is a come out winner. So I guess that's a good time for that to occur. That is a double pitch of the dice. So I, like I said in the last row, we are kind of, uh, uh, I want to kind of avoid that obviously. That is a uh, warning sign of sorts. We're up to 14 people with six likes on YouTube. Again, that is a pass line winner, so we're going to stick with that uh, $15 pass line bet. And I will call that all bet set. Dice out. So I ordered up some more um, supplies for the craps table. Should hopefully be here today. We have a 145 trucking camper. So our new point will be a five. And with that, what we're going to do is we're going to take that $15 off the five. We'll move it over to the 10. We're still at that 60 on the outside bet level here. Um, yeah, since we're still in recovery yet, trying to get our money back, we're going to um, stay at that. And then we'll start trend betting up the numbers that are, are hitting here. Good morning, Brian Fliegel checking in. And that was a implosion on that left die. That was a double pitch again on that right die. So let's see if we can get that landing spot changed a little bit. And let's go, as Coach Joe would say, two boards over on our throwing position. Um, <laughs> so point is five, we'll go all bet set here. And they saw it. Yeah, so I ordered some uh, stuff and I got some more stuff in for the table. I've been working on the uh, video edits quite extensively. And we got a 516, the KitchenAid mixer. So that is an inside number that will be no help for me. Because I am on the outside numbers. So hopefully when I start uh, releasing those videos for the table build, you guys are gonna notice a considerable difference in the quality of the video, in the editing of the video, in the hopeful, hopefully entertaining and educational side uh, component of the videos. And that um, I'm give, gonna give it a different look. It's part of the channel revamp. Um, so I'm kind of excited to release that. I the. First video is going to be kind of a promo video of the hopefully the finished project. And um, it's going to be, um, you know, pushing everybody towards the crafts for the cure, towards the idea of the table going to be going up for auction, all that type of stuff. The second video, which is the one I'm working on right now, is um, 
starts off kind of vlog style. So it's, I think it's a different approach from something I normally do. Um, and I really have been working hard at it. And it's kind of neat, I think. Uh, it's working out well so far, hopefully. So, and now all bets set here. And I said, we're looking for an outside number, 3236. The left eye sat and stuck. We have a 5-3, great eight. So another inside number. And again, I'm looking for outside numbers. So I'm almost tempted to pick up the six and eight because we did make some profit off of these uh, these points hit as well as the, um, let's do that. Let's pick up the uh, six and eight for $18 each. Um, because we did make some profit on some of these uh, come out or these pass line winners and the points hit in that. Up to 14 people on Crapsy right now. We have got uh, 16 people watching YouTube. Good morning, Coach Joe. And yes, Coach Joe, I just did two boards over just a few seconds ago. <laughs> so no hollering at me. I can hear you, my friend. <laughs> so let's go all bets set here. Dice out. I stick cross at the end, and we have another five, three, eight, great eight. So I'm glad I picked up that eight and six for that matter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that eight look like thirty dollars. And that was a um, single pitch towards us on that left eye. That was a primary on the top on the right side. So we'll make like I said that eight look like thirty. And I cannot tell you how much money I brought back to the rock because it says that I brought back $2,500 already. And I know that is not the case on this shooter, but it is what it is. Oh, well, um, I'll let you know how much I made, hopefully at the end here. But I know that uh, my uh, bankroll right now is up to 2,101. Again, our goal is to get up to 2,300. So we need another $198. If I lost all the money at the table that I have right now, it would be down to 1994. So we have $108,000 in bets out there. Three, two, three, six. And we'll call it all bets set here. Dice out. And good morning, Red from Michigan checking in. And I did see your, your email reply, Red, so thank you very much. And we'll go dice out. And we have a one, three, four. That would be the Big Joe from Craps Master Journey. So Big Joe got another hit here. We'll make that four look like $25. And we'll make that a buy bet now. So that was a nice little addition there. Um, we're 2129 now and keeping track of the bankroll is very 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 important um that was by the way a primary on the left side that was a single pitch towards us on the right die and if you're just joining in guys we are continuing where we left off yesterday for some reason my computer had a glitch and it cut my cameras out it cut my youtube stream out uh, cut the kick feed out, it cut everything out, and all I had was my OBS showing. And I'm talking, and I look, and I'm like, wait a second, there's nothing going on here. So, <laughs> so, and unfortunately, I could restart, I could restart the, the live stream, but I could not restart the same live stream because I pre-schedule uh, all my live streams, and that would would have screwed up the whole scheduling. So I just decided not to go up and go again. So. Uh, but we're back today. 17 people on crap. So you got 25 people watching right now. Only nine likes, guys. Make sure you hit that thumbs up sometime throughout the stream here. It would be greatly appreciated. Dice out. And we have a 5 4 hard nine to Big Daddy Mac. So 5-4, double pitch on that right die, single pitch towards us on the left die, ultimately a single pitch of the dice. 
And we're going to bring that nine up to $25 now. So that's a little bit of money brought back to the rack, a little bit put back on the table. We're up to $21.50. We need $150 more in order to get at our goal. And remember that first shooter yesterday, we lost money. Um, the second shooter, I think we won about $8. <laughs> so we recovered pretty much all that money that we had lost up to this point. Um, if I lost all the money that's on the table right now, it'd still be $60 down from my starting uh, from yesterday. But if I took my money down right now, we would definitely be up. Um, how much would I be up? I'd be up about 50 bucks over our starting bankroll from yesterday. So three, two, three, six, and dice out. A little bit long on the landing zone. We have a home seat craps, all the dots and all the spots, midnight. So that is one of the bookends, which is a help if you are playing that ATS. That gets us one step closer, and that is one of the harder numbers to hit. So we need the 2 and 3 for the small. We need the 10 and 11 for the tall. That was a uh, little bit long on that landing zone, but that was ultimately an explosion on that left eye, single pitch um, away on the right eye. So that was a um, safe result for the cousin one set. So we'll stick with three, two, three, six. And we will call that all bet set here. Dice out. A little shorter in the landing zone this time. We have another four, five, hard nine, Big Daddy Mac. So we're early on into the show for the day, and we are seeing a couple repeat dice numbers. And that's going to allow us to go to $35 on that nine. And that was a double pitch on that left die. That was an implosion on the right die. So that is a safe result. And we will go all bet set here. Dice out. Again, a little bit long, the dice did cross on us. And we got a 213, the Alfredo sauce, ace deuce. And that leaves us just the two to get on the ATS for the small. So if we get the two, we will hit the small early on here. And this is uh, turning to be a good continuation of the roll from yesterday. Single pitch on that um, left die, and what do we throw on the right one? We had a one, so that was a single pitch um, towards us. So that was actually a, um, a double pitch of the dice. So you got to be careful. That is a warning sign. So we'll keep an eye on that. And that was no help for our bets. So we'll go all bets set here. Dice out. A little bit short this time on our line zone. And we have a 268, the Duracell 8. And he says, go out, support free live craps and give that thumbs up. So please follow Duracell's suggestions. <laughs> so, anyhow, we got another eight here. So we're going to make that eight look like $42. And we have $220. Uh, our bank was up to $2,000. $220, so we need another $80 plus the $15 pass line, but so we need $95 to get to our goal. So I think we could do that. A couple more rolls here. If we could throw the eight uh, two more times, we'll definitely be there. So three, two, three, six. Be nice to surpass the goal a little bit today, so we have a little bit of fun money so we can continue to play along, but We'll call this all bet set. 19 people on Crapsy, 22 on YouTube. And we've got one person still on kick, and they still have not said hello. So we have dice out.
There was sure no end zone here. We have another uh, hard 10, the Old Bay Bushel, 5-5 five, five hard 10. And that I thought was our point, but it was not. That was an earlier point that we had today. But that is a hit on there, so we're going to make that 10 look like $25. And again, we will go three, two, three, six. And by the way, that was a single pitch towards us and an implosion. That is a safe result for cousin one set. And let's call this all bet set here. Dice up. I kind of hiccuped a little bit when I threw that, but we have a 6 4 10. That is Waywin's best friend, Wayne, and Daddy Joe. So that is two tens in a row. And that should put us, I believe, let me check once here. That should put us at our goal. Um, so yeah, we're at 22.96. So we, if I lost. Every if I lost the pass line, we would be at one dollar over goal. And uh, let's do this once. Um, I want to continue betting here. Let's take our bets down for the time being. Um, and let's go to oh, no, I'm still short here, guys. I'm still short a little bit, so I'm going to put those pets back up again. I don't know if it, it will let me. Awesome. So let's make that 10 look like 20 or 50 dollars. We need one more hit to get to goal because it was 2300 that we're looking for. If I lost everything right now, I'd be down at 2111. If I uh, took everything off the table, I would be just under like $16 short of goal. So that is uh, over analyzing. I know that, but again, you need to know what's on the table, where you're at, and where you where you need to get to. So. Oh, I entered an eight on Crapsy. Oh my God, that is a mistake by me. It should have been a 10. You are correct, Joel. Uh, it should have been a six, four, 10, and that would have put us at goal. Um, no, that would have been the same payout for me at least, but I apologize for that everybody, but I cannot go to Crapsy and uh, change it. So we'll stick with that. We'll go all bets set here and dice out. There's the cross on us, and unfortunately, darn it, 617, ouch. So the roll does come to an end. I should have taken my bets down like I said I was going to, but I did not. And that means we do need to do uh, a little bit of catch up again to get back to goal, but we are definitely on our way there. Um, we're at 2111 right now, and I would have been only 15 hours away from goal if I, 15 or 16 hours away from goal if I would have taken my money down. But as it stands now, we need to come back, um, $189 yet. So I had uh, enough money on the table there. Um, but that roll does come to an end. That was a decent roll. We ended up with 20 on that one. And again, like I said, that was a continuation from yesterday. So let's see if we can continue these rolls now and make sure that they are uh, good rolls again. So we are at 21.11 for a bankroll. Um, I'm going to try doing a little bit different bet in here. We're going to go no pass line bet. No, that don't pass either. So we're not doing any line bet here. And we will call that all bets set here. And they out. I stick cross and they went a touch long enough, but we have a 5 1 KitchenAid mixer. So that is going to be a primary on the back side of the dice. So we got a 5 1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 110 on the inside. And then I'm going to pick up $20 on the 4, $20 on that 10. So we have a total of $150 on the table. And my goal is to take one hit, and I'll do a 32 across pressure. And then after that second hit, I'll come back down to um, $60 on the outside. And actually, we, um, 
and a sixteen, uh, $18, either six or eight. So that way that'll be hopefully about where that break even point is. And I'll explain it to you as I go here. So let's call this all bets set and we'll go dice out three, two, three, six. With a short night landing zone and a 617. And you know, funny thing is, I could actually feel that uh, as I was gripping a dice. I just had that bad feeling that the red was going to show up. Damn it. That's one of those where I should have put the dice down, re gripped them, and, and re, re I got into it again. So that was a loss of $150 there. That sucks. That brings us right back down. We are starting over from ground zero, basically. Um, down $120 from where we started at yesterday. So let's um, let's pick her up again. No pass line bet. No, don't pass again for me. And um, we're sticking with the 3236. I believe that last roll was a mechanical issue. Uh, so it was not a anything else other than I screwed up. So let's go all bet set. They sucked. Now it felt more comfortable. And we have a 639 center field nine. So our new point will be nine. The dice did kind of come off the back wall a little weird on that one. They kind of did a little roundabout. Again, we're going to go 110 on the inside, 20 on the 4 and 10, so that's 150 across. <clears throat> and that was a uh, explosion on that left die. There was a primary on the right die. And we'll call it all bet set. They sucked. A little bit long on the line zone again. We have a 516, the KitchenAid mixer. We've thrown that, I believe, two other times today. So that should be the third KitchenAid mixer we threw. But we threw, uh, since we started tracking this these rolls yesterday, we've thrown seven sixes and six eights and six tens. Wow, that's all three of those are, are decent uh, statistics, if you will, that are probably a little bit better than what the uh, expected is. So that was a um, single pitch. Uh, no, yeah, that was a single pitch towards us on the left die, single pitch towards us on the right die. So that was a primary uh, hit on the back side. And that was a six. We're going to go 32 across pressure. So we've now got $25 on the four and 10. We got 30 on the five and nine. We got 36 on the six and eight. And I will be looking for one hit here. Now we'll come down to 60 on the outside and we'll either pick up the eight or the six for 18. So let's call this all bet set and dice out. Oh, that left eye stuck. I got lucky. We have a 2 2, the Ian Double Deuce. Or 2 2, let's go on a cruise with Brian from Holy Roller. So that should be enough to get out of the shooter. That's an extra $50 brought back to the rack. So we have an extra uh, $84 we made on that shooter. Uh, let's bring our bets down. We're going to go 60 on the outside. And then let's pick up. Um, Let's pick up the six. Yeah, let's go with the six for 18. So the only number that we have open right now is the eight. We have $84 brought back to the rack, 78 back on the table. So we're in the profit on this shooter by $6. And now we need to do some recovery so we can get some of that money back that we've lost on the last uh, two shooters here. So we'll call this all bet set and dice out. There was another situation where the dice were not comfortable, so we were going to regrip. 
and we get this out. And we got a three, two, five, the center, uh, the justice five. So hit five, I think that's the first five that we've thrown today. Uh, but that's the fourth one between yes. Oh, that's not the first five. That's the second five. Because we I remember throwing a truck and camper before. So that's going to allow us to go to $25 on that five. I have 105 brought back to the rack. We have 88 on the table currently. And that was a, a 3 2. So it was a primary on the um, left die. That was an explosion on the right die. That is a safe result. So we'll keep that up here. 3236. And all bets set. Dice out. What's the chances of that? If you saw that, the left die bounced here and went up a half an inch. The right die bounced a little bit ahead and went up about three inches. Neither one of them touched the back wall. But we're going to call that a mid-mo yo. Six, five, 11. That is going to be no help for my bets, but that'll be a help towards that ATS. <clears throat> And mechanical-wise, that I'm not going to really count that too much um, because it did not do what I wanted them to do, which is unfortunate. And let's call this all bets set here. They sucked. And there we go, Magic Ace is 112. So we're starting to hit some of these outside, outside numbers now. <laughs> Should be playing the field maybe, or, or the horn, I guess. But I'm not. So all we need is the Ace Deuce to hit that small. Good morning, Waylon. So three, two, three, six. And that was an implosion on that left die and a single pitch towards us on the right die in that last throw. And that was no help for us, so we'll go all bets set here. Dice out. And we got another 325 Justice 5. So Waylon put a video out, I think that was yesterday, uh, it was called as DC Field, Continuous DC Field. And that was a very uh, interesting strategy. I actually kind of liked it. Um, yeah, it's definitely something I will explore a little bit more into. Uh, but that was a primary on the left side. That was an explosion on the right side. We are going to make that five look like $35 now. Yeah, 140 brought back to the rack. We have 98 on the table. And we'll call that all bet set. 